This is the letter sent out to the Bedford School District by former Superintendent Chip McGee. He has left his position after his team came under fire when staff members spoke for the defense team of former Bedford guidance counselor Christy Torbick. Torbick pleaded guilty to sexually assaulting a 14-year-old student while working at Exeter High School. In his letter, McGee writes, quote, It would be difficult for me to continue to lead the Bedford School District at this point because of circumstances beyond my control. I think this is a, a first step and, you know, to the victim. They need to know that our community is serious about supporting victims of sexual violence. I hope the school board continues to investigate. Um, I think there's still more work to do here on this. This is not the, this is not the only uh, consequence that needs to result of this poor judgment by our staff members. As for if there could be more resignations or firings down the road. We have to follow um, an investigation and, a, and, and personnel matters um, in a way that is fair. Um, that follows practices and affords all parties due process. Meantime, the district is looking to heal and move forward under the new leadership of Michael Fournier. Students are coming back in short order and uh, they are my first priority. I want to make sure that they are safe, uh, that they are comfortable, and that we have schools ready to go for them. And now there are actually a lot of rippling effects to all of this up in Newfound School District. They're also feeling the fallout because of this after a guidance counselor there also spoke out in defense of Torbic. However, the superintendent in that district says she had no idea that guidance counselor was making that move. She says she does not condone those actions and says it is being handled as a personnel matter. We're live here in Bedford this evening. I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.